how you can use AI tools to like before that we can even move, uh, go backward how hum isse peeche se bhi isko shuru kar sakte hain ki kis tarah se aap even apna research topic jo hai wo final kar sakte hain even iske upar bhi hamari ek ghante date ki bahut detail se baat ho sakti hai and we can even talk about ki ye AI tools kis tarah se aapko research gap find karne mein aapko potential research topic find karne mein aapki jo existing research aap pursue karna cha rahe hain unme multiple diversify us idea ko diversify karne mein aapko kis tarah se help kar sakte hain and then how you link the previous researchers with your aims and objectives or with your research problems aur kis tarah se aap ye kaam jo aap dino mein karte hain and even at this stage most of the young researchers feel problem and even somebody want to diversify their research to uske liye bhi ye mushkil hoti hai ki wo kaun se aise potential areas hain jinko explore kar kiya jaye aur jo emerging potential research areas hain to ai tools are going to help you a lot in this regard also but I, uh in today's topic and specifically in this uh, today's session i'm focusing on that how you can leverage ai tools to develop a potential research proposal and when we talk about the research proposal definitely this is the point when you have done with the selection of your research topic when you have done with the identification of research gap you have defined the research problem and then your research questions and you are very much clear about your aims and objectives when you are clear at this point then you will move forward towards writing of your research proposal so how you have to select the topic and how you have to be clear at this stage uske liye bahut sari cheeze hain jo role play karti hain aapka apna previous expertise jo hai wo bahut zyada is pe matter karti hain to come at this stage ke wo kis aapki previous research expertise kya rahi hain agar previous research nahi hai to abhi tak ka jo aapka research ke bare mein knowledge hai usme aapke kaun se areas of interest hain while staying in your specific research domain और डेफिनेटली उसके बाद आपने आगे मूव करना है आप जो सुपरवाइजर चूज करने जा रहे हैं उसकी रिसर्च एक्सपर्टीज क्या है आपका जो टेम्परामेंट uh, है वो उसके साथ मैच करता है कि नहीं आपके कोलीग्स और फेलोज कैसे हैं उस स्पेसिफिक रिसर्च ग्रुप में बिकॉज ये वो सारे पैरामीटर्स हैं जिनको जब हम एक रिसर्च ग्रुप या रिसर्च टॉपिक सेलेक्ट करते हैं तो इग्नोर कर देते हैं एट द एंड वेन यू आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन दिस रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट और लॉन्ग रन फॉर यू पी एच डी फॉर एग्जाम्पल तो ये सारी चीजें आपके लिए बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करती हैं एंड इफ यू स्पेंड सम टाइम बिफोर सिलेक्शन रिसर्च टॉपिक ऑन रिजॉल्विंग दीज इशूज एंड अलाइनिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स टूगेदर और फिर वो आपके रिसर्च रिसर्च टॉपिक के साथ अलाइन हो आपके इंटरेस्ट के साथ अलाइन हो तो चीजें आपके लिए परसू करना आसान हो जाती हैं सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू डिवेलप द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पोटेंशियल रिसर्च प्रपोजल इन फ्यू क्लिक्स विद हेल्प ऑफ ए आई टूल्स एंड देन आई विल एक्सप्लोर टूल विच इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू मेक योर रिसर्च प्रपोजल इवन मोर पोटेंशियल एंड विल हेल्प यू टू इम्प्रूव ईच सेक्शन ऑफ योर रिसर्च प्रपोजल I am just going to explain two tools. One is free and one is paid. And even you can take the help of only this this tool, which is open in front of you. My screen is uh, visible to all. When we whenever whenever we are going to take uh, any task from AI tools, not from all the tools, uh, because some tools are not working in the in the chat. Uh, चैट बोट मैनर लेकिन जो जब एन आई है फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब हम चैट जी पी टी की बात करते हैं आगे दे आर नॉट द प्रोफेशनल टूल फॉर द रिसर्च राइटिंग बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट जब एन आई तो ये हमें ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग और आइडिया जनरेशन में बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प करता है एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग चैट जी पी टी फॉर एनी पर्पज शिफ्ट वर्ड जब एन आई आई बिकॉज ये लेटेस्ट है इसमें जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको किसी भी टॉपिक के बारे में चाहिए होती है उसके बारे में लेटेस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको प्रोवाइड करता है एंड सेकेंडली ये आपको बहुत प्रोफेशनल लैंग्वेज में आपका डॉक्यूमेंट जो उसको प्रिपेयर करके देता है और इसका चैट बोर्ड स्टाइल उसी तरह से काम करता है जिस तरह चैट जीपीटी का काम करता है लाइक यू कैन डू कन्वर्सेशन विद इट इफ यू आर राइटिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ अ डॉक्यूमेंट यू डोंट हैव टू फीड दिस टूल अगेन एंड अगेन एंड यू कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड बाय suggesting it that make this kind of a changes in my previous document or add this or remove this or change the structure or do this so, so you don't have to feed this tool again and again on each step so whenever you feed any tool uh, we call this feeding as a prompt and your prompt or your instruction to any ai tool should be uh, well structured when we talk about it well structured uh, it means your message should be conveyed clearly and this specific prompt uh, we bifurcate it into three major parts the first one is you have to define the role Uh, what kind of a role that tool have to perform are you a creator are you a content creator are you a marketer are you a researcher who you are so explain this tool that act like this or 
who I am. I am a pro researcher or act like a pro researcher. And then you have to assign the task to the tool that perform this task for me. And it's better that you put commas uh, around your specific task that will this will give more clarity to the tool that this is the specific area on which I have to focus. And after that, you have to perform, you have to define the structure in which you want to get the information. For example, I don't want to write the complete research proposal at this moment. I just want to write the outline of my research proposal. And for that purpose, I have built this specific prompt. Now, again, this is very generic. As I told earlier, when you are writing the your research proposal or when you are even developing the outline of your research proposal, you have research topic on your research topic. And you are very clear about your aims and objectives and the, and the, and, and the purpose of the study you are uh, doing uh, that specific study. And then you have to methodologies be clear. If you are not clear before writing the research proposal, before writing the research project proposal, sorry, you have to be clear about the methodology you are doing. So ye, this specific part should be very specific. Mm -hmm. You should mm -hmm. feed about your research problem and your research question and your aims and objectives and the methodologies roughly, roughly you are going to adopt if you're not very much clear about that at this point. And then you will get a complete outline to build a professional uh, document, uh, research proposal. And all these steps, all the previous steps which I talk here, uh, that you should be clear before writing your research proposal, you can do with the help of a Gemini AI. So here, I'm just going to uh, feed this tool about a very generic research topic that is not very much specific as it should be. So I'm going to that outline, uh, give me the outline of my research proposal entitled from a PhD degree. Yes, here is, here is the commas which I already placed around it. Uh, application of finite liquids in medicines uh, or a role of ionic liquids, role of ionic liquid medicine as a solvent. And what will be the format? I need this information in heading and subheading. So you can see this is the introduction uh, uh, headings and subheadings of the introduction chapter. And these are, this is the brief introduction of ionic liquids and this is the convention solvents and medicine, the limitation, potential uh, advantages of ionic liquids, the solvent, and then this is about the structure of the literature review. These are the research objectives which this tool designed for me based on that specific research topic. And if I feed it, I would get this area more specified and more clear depending upon uh, the, the instruction which I have provided and that will be more targeting. And then the the proposed research methodology which this tool uh, suggests me. No, you can't say that this is the random methodology this tool um, give you. Uh, this is the this is the best option. These are the best options which are available in the literature and you get all the information available here after going through the available literature online. And Gemini, I provide you the ideas which are popular in your specific research. After that, you can definitely, so you have to, this is the research methodology and this is the detail of the research methodology, expected outcomes and contribution. And even you get the timeline of your uh, research proposal. So this, even this was a very generic and a few words prompt. This is basically my prompt, uh, my instruction about my details about my research topic, but even you are getting a very good research proposal with the help of uh, Gemini AI tool which has been specifically designed to even even you want to take the help of a professional tool that is going to help you to find the research topic with the research cap with the with the summary of the previous literature with the uh, methodologies you can adopt by digging deep into the literature with the help of references then avixana is the best tool and then this tool is going to lead you to develop the professional research proposal also so I'm, this tool is not going to provide you any free checks. According to my best knowledge, I'm using its paid version. And even you can um, access uh, access its weekly plan in 4 to $5. <clears throat> and you can use it for one week free to, find, to do all these uh, uh, means steps to perform all these steps. So this is this is basically a quick review about that, how you can uh, develop the research uh, 
top it with the help of this so this is what i have already i didn't went through all the steps this allows you to uh, feed, you have to feed this tool about your specific information then you have to feed this tool about your research ideas or research topic you want to explore if you have uh, if if you need any uh, you can just give you uh, some initial thoughts you have developed until now about your research you want to explore or if you have a research su supervisor suggestions you can feed that or if you want have a topic and you want to diversify that topic and you want to explore the dimensions or areas that can be uh, covered in that specific research topic or diversify that specific topic then this tool also help you i have a detailed youtube video on this topic you can watch on my youtube channel just by searching dr rizwana mustafa and Avixana, the name of this tool, and you will be directed to that specific video. I'm just I'm, at the moment. I'm going to tell you that how this going, tool is going to help you find the research gap. This is the topic, for example, which I have done, and uh, means I can edit the topic and, 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 and diversify it. This is the topic summary. This is the research gap which I'm getting, and this is the specific research methodology which people are following in literature to pursue this kind of a research and as this is my own specific field of study so i'm 100% agree with this research method which avixana suggests me to find out uh, my uh, to, to to select the research methodology to pursue my research at this moment i'm going to uh, explore the research proposal builder option and here you have two choices the first one is to select the template so for example uh, they are going to uh, update it and add some more uh, reference uh, styles on it. For example, my topic is the role of ionic liquids as a solvent. And I'm going to, I have to select the chapter or introduction. And when I select the introduction, it will allow me uh, to feed this tool about the basic information which I have already written to in this specific topic. As I didn't have anything with me, so I'm just going to put this specific subheading, uh, headings and subheadings which Gemini AI developers and I'm just going to review what this tool suggests me. So after feeding this tool about your initial writing, what you have written until now in that specific topic and you want to check that either it's uh, uh, submission worthy or you have to make changes in that uh, research topic because Avixana is the tool which is not a generative tool basically. This is the tool which is going to provide you suggestions and इस टूल को यूज करते हुए आपको किसी भी एआई टूल को यूज करते हुए आप किसी भी एआई टूल को पकड़ लें जब आप उससे प्रोफेशनल काम लेना चाहते हैं तो आपको अपने टॉपिक के बारे में मुकम्मल पता होना जरूरी है और फिर इसके बाद यह पता होना भी जरूरी है कि व्हाट यू वांट from that tool and what are your goals what he, what i want to include my introduction chapter i should to be clear about that aur uske bare mein meri research mukammal honi chahiye maine apni information ko kis flow mein leke jana hai mujhe uske bare mein clear hona chahiye kahin par agar mujhe clarity nahi hai so i have to go to the literature and after that i can take the help aur fir main in tools ko feed bhi acche se kar sakungi aur in tools ki madad se acche se likha bhi sakungi to yahan par aapko suggestion leni hai waksana se jo bhi aapne likha aur aap get recommendation ko click karenge तो आपको ये सजेशन देगा कि दिस रिस्पॉन्स इंक्लूड ए ब्रीफ ओवरव्यू ऑफ आइनिक लिक्विड द पोटेंशियल एडवांटेज एज अ सॉल्वेंट इन मेडिसिंस एंड द लिमिटेशंस ऑफ कन्वेंशनल सॉल्वेंट्स हाउ एवर इट इज नॉट आइडेंटिफाई अनरिजॉल्व्ड क्वेश्चंस डिफाइन प्रॉब्लम्स एंड चैलेंजेस और क्लैरिटी स्टेट द पोटेंशियल कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द नॉलेज द रिस्पॉन्स डज नॉट इंक्लूड रिसर्च क्वेश्चंस तो मेरा जो फील्ड था उसमें ये चीज ने कहा ठीक है तो मुझे क्या ये पता चल गया कि अब मैंने ये वाला एरिया जो है उसके ऊपर काम करूंगी तो मेरा रिसर्च प्रपोजल इस काबिल होगा कि ये मैं किसी भी स्कॉलरशिप या किसी भी ग्रांट के अगेंस्ट इसको सबमिट करवा सकती हूँ अदरवाइज दीज आर द लैक एरियाज दीज आर द एरियाज इन विच आई डेंट फॉर द स्पेसिफिक इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट शुड बी इंक्लूड इन द इंट्रोडक्शन चैप्टर और मैं यहाँ पर इसकी जो है ये मेरा रिजेक्शन की बायस बन सकता है सो दिस इज वॉट यू कैन डू विद ईच चैप्टर in the same way you can use another feature of uh, research proposal writer of avixana another feature of research proposal writing by avixana and here you have to do the same uh, like you have if you have done with the research topic and this tool automatically sync uh, your research uh, proposal building with the with the topic and it will give you some suggestions again these are not the suggestions uh, 
which I'm getting. For example, if I click on this, what is the topic significance and relevant to your field? Or what is the research topic broader context? So uh, here I have to feed the tool in the same manner about the context of the research and what I'm going to do, which I most, the information which I include in the introduction chapter of any kind of a research document. So a brief introduction, I will provide this tool and then I will get recommendation in the same manner. Isi tarah se, what is the topic significant and relevant to your field? or a community. So what type of information I should have to include this topic is a significance because it directly addressed the energy transition challenges faced by other areas. So it provide me the example that my information which I specifically provide in this section should be consist of the following information. Isi tarah se, I have to perform about 11 steps to uh, 11 steps mean uh, if I have three uh, steps in 11 steps so you can see that you have this tool will perform about 33 steps or 33 checks on your research proposal and then after uh, addressing the recommendations that after making the correction in your research proposal you will be able to have a research proposal in your hand which is professional which is addressing all the key areas all the key factors that should be included in a potential research proposal and it will be ready to submit at any platform so this is all from my side in this short tutorial um, you, if you want to explore more, you can watch my YouTube videos, which are completely free. Thank you very much.